Hello, this is Jeremy Comel, and we'll be talking today about the data acquisition workflow that works best with Lipid Match Flow software. So when you're acquiring your data, for your samples, acquire all data for all samples in full scan only, in both positive and negative polarity. Lipid Match Flow will work for data which also has auto MSMS or some type of data independent analysis, as long as there's full scans as well. But we recommend using full scan only because you'll have more scans across a peak, which will lead to better integration and better peak area calculations. Also, you can run in just a single polarity if you desire. Although, again, we recommend using both polarities because you'll get additional information and more identifications. In addition to your samples, if you can pool samples from each group and then run these pools in full scan and MSMS mode separately, as well as in positive and negative IM mode for both full scan and MSMS, this will allow Lipid Match Flow to append identifications to your samples. If you do not have pools, you can run tandem mass spectrometry or MSMS on one representative sample or two or three from each of your sample groupings. And these will be used for identification purposes. You also need to run blanks, at least three blanks. So while you're doing your extraction, if you can do three extraction blanks at least, that would be most suitable because these will be used to remove any noise that comes from your extraction procedure, your blanks and your solvent, and your instrument from your final data analysis. If you do not have extraction blanks, then you can use solvent blanks for this step. In addition to running all these data acquisition steps, it is important to save your file names the same in positive and negative polarity for your samples, as well as your blanks. So for your samples, you want each to have the exact same uh, file name in positive and negative polarity. You can save them to different folders, and that will help Lip and Match Flow software combine your positive and negative polarity data into a single feature table.